It's really good to save all your information that you've been researching with into one folder so you know exactly where it all is. Let's go back to the beginning and think about the moment that I have found some information about Indian festivals. So I'm going to set up an Indian festivals folder to save my information in and any pictures I find, you know, Creative Commons images, they can go into this folder as well. Any sound files to do with Indian festivals all go into this folder for this assignment. Anyway, I create a document number one, it's my first document, and into that document, which is called Indian Festivals, and I'm looking here on the left-hand column side, I dump into this document three articles that I find from the internet, and I don't change any of the words. They've just been copied and pasted, and at the top of each of the articles, I put the title of the web page article, the author, if, it's, if he or she is listed, the organisation and the web address. So I do that on, on the top of each article. So now I've saved that as Indian festivals and I have not changed a single word from the internet. Now the next thing I do is I save as, I save Indian festivals as Indian festivals V2, which means version two. So now I've got a second version. Now, at this point, I print out the um, Indian Festivals document because I want to make sure that I have really changed the words a lot when I do my assignment. So I need the original words in the Indian Festivals document so I can see what I have changed. Um, if I work well with printed documents, I might go through and do a bit of colour highlighting of keywords in the original document on the printout version. Maybe I don't like working with printed versions, but that's one option. Now, in Indian Festivals version two, I go through and I colour highlight the keyword facts in the three articles that I have found. And I put those facts into a three sources grid that I make at the bottom of the document. So it's a it's a three sources grid and I've put in keyword facts into the three columns. Uh, don't repeat them. So if the, if there are same facts, then they just are in column one and it's extra facts that go into the next two columns. I don't repeat the same facts. So now I've got my three sources grid. And so now I start um, rewording and smushing all the facts in together. And I use all my tricks like synonyms, moving chunks around, um, adding um, emotive language, putting in a rhetorical question, adding lots of extra words of my own. So I'm really um, using the the facts from three sources, but I'm now mixing them all up together and making sure that 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 the wording looks really different. And underneath, I create a references list, sometimes called a bibliography, um, so that I'm saying where I found them. So I'm happy with that. So now I make sure that I go and I delete all the top bits, the grid and all the bits above the grid. Um, and so that all I've got left in Indian Festivals version two is actually my rewording and a references list. And I print that out. And then I look at my new, um, doc my new document and I compare it to the original wording to make sure that I have made enough changes. So just to recap that in a more visual way, um, when I'm doing an assignment, I save um, a document and that's got the original uh, information from the internet. And as soon as I've saved that, then I save as and I call it the same name, but version two. And that's where I do my rewording. Now, where does my Indian Festivals folder actually sit? And it's really important to set up folders systematically in your drive so that you can actually find your files quickly. 
So you sort of have to take a moment to set up a few folders. But once you've done that, um, then it just makes life much easier for you to find all your homework assignments. So for example, a really common way to do this is to go into your drive and set up a folder for the year. So let's just say that you've set up a 2021 folder and everything you do in 2021 will be sitting within that folder. And then underneath 2021, when you click inside it, you will find a whole lot of subject folders that you can set up. So all the subjects that you're doing for school or university, you can set them up with names and that will help you to be able to go straight to what you need later. So here I'm um, showing you that inside the geography subfolder, there are a set of folders. Each folder is um, for a different assignment, the deserts assignment, the elephants assignment and so on. So it would be in here that I could set up my um, Indian festivals folder.